Tanya Tucker on Billboard's Hot 100 the week of March 30th, 1974. She's at number 52, her third number one country hit, Tanya Tucker in a field of stone. Well, it's actually the song's called Would You Lay With Me in a Field of Stone. It was written by, Way not Waylon Jennings, it was written by another country outlaw, David Allen Cole. He wrote the song, and about a year after Tanya Tucker had a hit with it, uh, David Allen Cole, he put his version as a B-side to one of his signature country, country hits called You Never Call Me By My Name. Uh, third number one country hit for Tanya Tucker. Would you lay with me in a field of snow? Didn't do quite as well in the pop charts, but I'll get into that in just a minute. Tanya Tucker, she was God, she was a prodigy. She was she was thirteen years old when she recorded her hit record. First hit record, country hit, Delta Don. She was signed to the Columbia record by legendary producer Billy Sherrill, who's worked with Tanya Tucker, George Jones, Country politan producer of the first degree. He put Charlie Rich back on the map. Charlie Rich last hit uh, 1965, I believe, was Mohair Sam. He had some early 60s hits uh, like Lonely Weekend, but they were not real big. But in the 70s, when Billy Sherrill started producing his started producing him, Charlie Rich hit it big behind closed doors. And did you happen to see the most beautiful girl in the world? Massive hits. From uh, Charlie Rich in the 70s. Well, Billy Sherrill works with Tanya Tucker. He gave her a song when he first signed her called The Happiest Girl in the USA. And Tanya Tucker passed on that record. She gave it to, uh, excuse me, I had, some, I had a chocolate drink. <laughs> I think I got chocolate on my lips. <laughs> I'd apologize. But here's the thing. Tanya Tucker gave The Happiest Girl in the USA to Donna Fargo. And Donna Fargo had the Boom, a massive hit with it. Tanya Tucker opted for a song called Delta Dawn. She saw Ben Miller perform Delta Dawn on the, on the Tonight Show with Johnny Carson. She put out her version on Country. Helen Reddy had a massive hit with it in the summer of 73, a little bit later on. Now we get to uh, Tanya Tucker's, well, Third number one country hit at number 52 the week of March 30th, 1974. Up four notches from 56, but it'll only go as high as number 46 on Billboard's Hot 100. A little too country to be played on pop radio. It was on the pop charts, though. It was on Billboard's Hot 100 for a respectable 10 weeks. Tanya Tucker, would you lay with me in a field of stone? 